Hello, I'm Xiaofan Wang. I'm professor of uh, pharmacology and cancer biology at Duke University. Uh, we mainly study cancer metastasis uh, in our laboratory. So one of the topics we have chosen to study is liver cancer because liver cancer can derive from uh, multiple types uh, reasons. One type of reason is uh, HBV infection, so hepatitis B virus can infect the person and then uh, cause uh, serious kind of uh, diseases. First will be the uh, chronic um, phase of the viral disease and then uh, you would develop uh, cirrhosis which cause some of the scar tissues and also trigger the initiation of um, tumor genesis eventually leading to uh, hepatocellular carcinoma. And this type of cancer is a major killer in the world, even though incidence is only about number five, but the uh, mortality is the number three, because once patients get such a cancer, um, particularly when they develop further to metastasis, like uh, intrahepatic metastasis, uh, they only have about two to four months to live. Uh, really, we don't have <clears throat> too many ways to treat such a patients. So we try to understand this um, disease process. Hopefully, we can develop better therapeutics uh, for such a patients. So in, the, uh, in Asia, 80% of HCC patients are derived from uh, HPV infection. So this is different from the causes in the uh, West. In the U.S., um, only about a third of the uh, liver cancer derived from HPV. But we have an in increase in incidence in this country because HCV infection due to hepatitis C, uh, which have a very difficult um, outcome as well. And we don't have much uh, treatment options. So liver cancer can derive from HCV. So we try to understand how those virus eventually cause the disease to progress to a stage uh, causing metastasis. And so we're now uh, working closely with uh, colleagues in China because to understand the disease process, we have to get um, clinical samples to analyze the molecules, uh, the pathways we think have now um, gone um, the, in the wrong way. So without such a data, we wouldn't know whether experimental system we use in the laboratory is truly reflecting what's happening in the patient. So if uh, we develop some treatment, we wouldn't know whether that's really going to be useful. So starting from the collaboration with the Chinese colleagues, we analyze tissue samples from the HCC patients where they have a large number because in China, uh, about 90 million people carried HPV virus. Uh, so obviously that would be a major source for the development of HCC. So from that advantage, we could uh, build a strong base clinically to show that you know what the molecules were studying in the laboratory like TGA beta and like a microRNA like a chemokines and the T regulatory cells be all relevant clinically so the discovery from our lab eventually going to be uh, useful for the development of better drugs and we hope to uh, have uh, new options for treatment for this deadly disease